good day. How are you doing? Ms. Dairo is doing great and I believe you are doing great too. So let's kick start today's lesson. We are going to be looking at what problems involving length. What problems involving length. But before we continue, we are going to take a look at our last lesson. There are two examples that we are going to quickly run through. So we have convert 2 kilometers, 8,000 meters to meters. Now, there are two ways we can have this question. We can have it as 2, there's my point, 8,000 meters. Now, when we see something like this, it is still the same thing as 2 kilometers, 8,000 meters. We can also have it as 2, there's my point, 8,000 kilometers. So when we see these two, they still mean 2 kilometers, 8,000 meters. Now, we want to convert 2 kilometers, 8,000 meters to meters. Now, remember the first thing I said you should write is 1 kilometer equals 1,000 meters. 1 kilometer equals 1,000 meters. Now, we have to convert 2 kilometers, 8,000 meters to meters. But we are only going to be converting our 2 kilometers to meters since our 8,000 is already in meters. So we'll convert our 2 kilometers to meters, then we'll add it to our 8,000 meters. So we are going to have our 2 kilometers under our kilometers equals, we represent this side using an alphabet, so let me use B. Now remember we cross multiply. Then we have our one kilometer multiplied by B equals two kilometer multiplied by one times 1,000 meters. So we have our one kilometer multiplied by B equals two multiplied by 1,000. We have our 2,000 and we have our kilometer and we have our meter. Now, We'll have to divide both sides by 1 km because we want our B alone so that we can get our answer. So we have divided by 1 km divided by 1 km. So our 1 km here cancels out our 1 km off. Then same year, kilometers cancel kilometers. 1 divided by 2,000, we see about 2,000. So we have our B, we are left with B equals 2,000 meters. Now remember, this is not our final answer. Remember, we are still going to add it up to our 8,000 meters. So we have B equals 2,000 meters plus 8,000 meters. Then our B equals 10,000 meters meters final answer so we can see that is quite simple so we have convert two kilometers eight thousand meters to okay now we, we still have the same question the same um, say convert two kilometers eight thousand meters to kilometers the other time it was convert two kilometers eight thousand meters to meters but now we are converting to kilometers now first you have your one kilometers equals one thousand meters now since you are converting to kilometers that means we are not going to convert our two kilometers our two is already in kilometers so we can't convert kilometers to kilometers so we'll be doing the same thing we did in our previous example. We'll convert our 8,000 meters to kilometers, then we'll add it up to our two kilometers. So since we are converting 8,000 meters, we are going to be writing it under the meter, the 1,000 meters. So we have 8,000 meters. And on this side, we'll present with an alphabet, let's use B. So we'll cross multiply, I'm sure we are familiar with this now. So we have our B multiplied by 1,000 meters equals our 1 kilometer multiplied by 8,000 meters. We have our B 
multiplied by 1,000 meters equals 1 multiplied by 8,000, you have your 8,000, and you have your kilometer, and you have your meter. Now, since we want our B alone, we are going to divide both sides by 1,000. Divided by, sorry, sorry about that. Divided by 1,000 meters. And here also we have divided by 1,000 meters. So, our 1,000 meters there, we'll cancel our 1,000 meters up. Our meters here, we'll cancel the meters here. 1,000 here, 1. 1,000 in 8,000, we have 8. That is 8 multiplied by 1,000 will give us 8,000. So we are left with our B equals 8 kilometers. Now that is not our final answer. Remember we left our 2 kilometers to be added to this. So we have our B equals 8 kilometers plus 2 kilometers that means our B equals 10 kilometers. Find out. So, I would love you all to take note of the two examples that was just solved now as we move on to today's lesson. Okay, now we, we still have the same question. The now, we are looking at what problems involving length. What problems involving length? Our first example, Olu walks to school, which is a quarter of a kilometer from his house. If it takes him 15 minutes to get to school, how many meters does he work? Now, when you are solving word problems, you have to be very, very careful. You have to understand the question, read it over and, and over so that you will get what you are asked to do. Now, let's read it again. Olu walks to school, which is a quarter of a kilometer from his house. If it takes him 15 minutes to get to school, how many meters does he walk? Now, here they are simply asking you to convert one quarter of a kilometer to meters. Because they've already told you the distance he walks from his house to, from his school to his house. So, here you have nothing to do with the 15 minutes there. They just want you to convert your one quarter of a kilometer to meters so let's see how it's done so first we have our one kilometers equals one thousand meters now remember they said you walk the distance of one quarter of a kilometer from his home meaning the distance between his home and his school is one quarter of a kilometer and one quarter of a kilometer is one over four one over four meaning we have to convert one of one of one over four kilometers to meters so we have one over four kilometers equals we represent this using b so we cross multiply remember we are converting to meters we cross multiply you have a one over four kilometers multiplied by 1,000 meters equals our 1 kilometers multiplied by B. So, our 1 multiplied by, our, our 1 kilometers multiplied by 1,000 meters is 1,000 kilometers and your meters, then we have divided by 4 equals 1 kilometer multiplied by b now the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to divide both sides now before we divide both sides we have our 1000 kilometers meters divided by four our four below can divide our 1000 up so first let's start um, with the lowest number let's use two two in four we have two two here we have 500 divided by 2 we have 1 and 2 divided by 2 we have 250 so we we'll write that out we have 250 kilometers meters equals 1 kilometers multiplied by b now the next thing we do is that we are going to divide both sides by what yes we are going to divide both sides by 1 kilometer because we want our b to be alone 
and the only way we can achieve that is by eliminating our one kilometers and we'll do that by dividing both sides by one kilometer so we have divided by one kilometers divided by one kilometers so our one kilometers cancels out one kilometers up here our kilometers cancels out the kilometer here one in one see one one in 250 is still 250 so we are left with 250 meters equals b that is our b equals 250 meters meaning one um one quarter of a kilometers converted to meters is 250 meters now let's look at the second example it says if Femis covers a distance of two kilometers in two minutes how many kilometers will he cover in four minutes if Femi covers a distance of two kilometers in two minutes how many kilometers will he cover in four minutes so if Femi covers a distance of two kilometers in two minutes what distance in kilometers will he cover in four minutes so if he covers two kilometers in two minutes what distance will he cover in four minutes so you can see how i in interpreted the question so if he covered a, a distance of two kilometers in two minutes then what distance will he cover in four minutes now we're not asked to convert to meters so meaning our answer will still be in kilometers so you can see how i interpreted the word problem so next we do we cross multiply so we have our b multiplied by two minutes equals our uh, two kilometers multiplied by four minutes we have our b multiplied by two minutes equals two multiplied by four we have eight then we have our kilometers and we have our minutes now we'll divide both sides by two minutes because we want our b left alone so divided by two minutes divided by two minutes so our two minutes cancels the two minutes above. Our minutes here cancels the minutes over here. Two divided by two, one. Two divided by eight, four. So we are left with four, four kilometers here. We are left with B here. So we have our B equals four kilometers. And this is the answer. Meaning if he covers two kilometers in two minutes, he is going to cover four kilometers in four minutes. Now, can you see that solving word problems is actually very easy? You just have to find a way to present the problem. Once you know the problem, then you would know what you are dealing with and you will get your answer right away. So, we are going to take this to mathematics drill. And I would love to have your answers in the comment section so that we can treat it next time. So move to addition of length. When adding or subtracting length, ensure you write out the unit of measurement first and place the numbers under the right unit. So when you're adding length, your unit of me measurement, either your kilometers or meters or whatever measurement or unit of measurement you were given, make sure you write it out then write the number below the appropriate unit of measurement. For example, here we have one kilometer plus two kilometers. As you can see, I wrote my kilometers up first because that is the unit of measurement we are dealing with. Then we have our one plus two, which gives us three. So let's look at our first example. We have 22 kilometers, 500 meters plus 5 kilometers 28 meters now if you look at this example we are dealing with two units of measurement here our kilometers and our meters so the first thing you have to do is to write out 
your kilometers just like i've written them and your meters then you write each number below the appropriate unit of measurement your 22 is in kilometers so we have that on that kilometers our 500 is in meters we have that under meters then we also have our five kilometers under kilometers and our 28 meters under meters so when we add it up we have 27 kilometers 528 meters i'm very sure you are familiar with addition we'll be doing that for quite a time now so the second example we have three kilometers 478 meters plus 272 meters now same with what we've done before you have to write out the unit of measurement involved first which are your kilometers and your meters then we place each number under the appropriate unit of measurement so we have our three under our kilometers and we have our 478 under meters and our 272 under meters now you can see our 272 meters does not have a kilometer that is why the space for the kilometers is empty so there's no need for you to write anything there if there's no figure there so when we add it up together we have our three kilometers 750 meters addition of length is actually very very simple it's just the same with your normal addition so now these are mathematics drill so also i want you to attempt it please do attempt it so that you have a good understanding of what we just learned okay now these are extra drill it says the car covered a distance of 300 and, of 3645 kilometers oh sorry there's a mistake there the car covered a distance of 365 meters meters please take note the car, the car covered a distance of 365 meters how many kilometers and meters did it cover now i want you to take out your pen and a sheet of paper and solve this so let me see um if you are able to get the right answer the car covered a distance of three hundred three thousand six hundred and forty five meters how many kilometers and meters did it cover so you know you have to convert your three thousand six hundred and forty five meters to kilometers and meters so let's check out the answer since the car covered a distance of 3,645 meters, how many kilometers and meters did it cover? You have your solution. So since we are dealing with converting, first thing you have to do is to write out your 1 kilometers equals your 1,000 meters. Then we have our 3,645 meters under 1,000 kilometers. Then we present the unknown with B. So we cross multiply. We have our B multiplied by 1,000 meters equals a one kilometers multiplied by three thousand six hundred and forty five meters then we have a six multiplied b multiplied by one thousand meters equals a one multiplied by three thousand six hundred and forty five that is three thousand six hundred and forty five then you have your kilometers and you have your meters next we'll have to divide both sides by one thousand kilometers so on the left hand side the 1,000 kilometers below cancels out the one above. Then on our right hand side, our meters cancels out um, the meters above. Then our 1,000 and 1,000, we have one. 1,000 in 3,645, we have three remainder 645. Three remainder 645. So that is our B equals three kilometers now remember the whole number will represent your kilometers then the remainder if any will represent your meters so our final answer becomes b equals three kilometers six hundred and forty five meters now if after going through the lesson for today um you have questions you have um doubt and you would love me to clarify your doubt or to explain something better please reach out in the comment section with your question or where you find confusing so we meet next time please have a nice day have a great day stay safe and make sure you enjoy every 
moments. Bye.